sitting out here in Asia, and of course China is a market I look at very closely, how are you assessing the risk of potential higher tariffs on China and the impact that it's likely to have on the Walmarts of the world? Yeah, the good news is we sort of have a playbook, right, from a couple of years ago when we saw this in 2018 and in 2019, and I suspect that it'll play out in a very similar fashion, which is to say retailers just pass it on to customers. So it, it does end up being inflationary, and that's exactly what we saw in 2018-19. Inflation did pick up a little bit uh, in, in those years because uh, retailers, including Walmart, did pass it right through. I think it'll be less of an impact this time around than it was what was that, five or six years ago? And that's because a lot of retailers have spent a lot of time uh, and a lot of effort diversifying th their, their supplier base uh, outside of China into other areas. So that should mitigate the, the impact. Walmart actually is probably less impacted by tariffs than others because a high percent of their business is growth re related and a high percent of that comes from the U.S. and so therefore wouldn't be impacted uh, by tariffs. Michael, we're looking at the shares of Walmart, $73.18. It rallied to a record high of 6.5%. Uh, you have raised the price target. What is your call on the stock? Yeah, we like it here. We continue to like it. It's been one of our top picks, uh, and it's working, and we think the momentum will continue. Again, one of the few retailers that uh, is taking market share, that is beating and raising. Valuation is at a premium, but we think it's warranted just because of the positioning uh, that they have right now in, in the market where they are taking market share and doing it profitably. Not only are they growing sales, but they're growing their margins even faster than sales. So we think it works very well in this kind of environment, which is a little bit more defensive. But as we talked about earlier, I also think it works better in a more offensive uh, environment, if you will. And that's because they do have a lot of growth drivers, a lot of new businesses that they're getting into, all of which are higher margin. And so continue to lift the uh, overall profitability of the company.